What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for sticking around. Today we're going to be going over the top 10 cars in Rocket League. And be sure to stick around until the end because if you don't, I can guarantee you're going to leave this video super confused. And also, just so you guys know, I did extensive research. I pulled up the stats of every single vehicle in the game of Rocket League. So you can 100% guarantee that everything I'm saying in this video is 100% accurate. Alright, starting off our list at number 10, we have the Fennec. This is like if the Dominus and the Octane had a baby, but the baby came out with some kind of disorder. It's literally just like all the worst parts of the Dominus and the Octane put together. I don't know why anybody wants to use this car. I put this at number 10 simply because it is popular and that's the only reason I have it on the list. Uh, honestly, I think it's worse than number 10, but I put it here. All right, and number nine, we have the Octane. The Octane has an okay turn radius. To me, it feels really slow. It's super tall and it makes it really hard to control the ball. Uh, I feel like the Octane is very overhyped and it just it's just a very awkward car in my opinion which is why I put it at number nine it's okay I don't hate it but it, it it's it's not a good car I'm sorry number eight we have the Dominus another really slow car its length makes it terrible for dribbling and you never really know where this car is aiming the shape of it is just really weird and you never know where the ball's gonna go when you hit the ball it's just a super weird car, super long, and super hard to control the ball. Not one of my favorites, still better than the Octane though. Number seven, we have the Ripper. We're starting to get into better cars here. It's a really fast car. It's really intimidating. Uh, whenever you rock the Ripper, your opponent knows he's about to get demoed. And it's all around just an average car, nothing super special, but you know, it's still a good car. Better than the Octane, better than the Dominus definitely better than the Fennec. Number six, we have the Takumi. This car is super fast, has the biggest hitbox in the game. Guaranteed you're gonna win every single 50-50 in this car, 100% of the time. You're gonna win every single 50-50 with the Takumi. And super fast, you know, how can you go wrong with this car? You can't. All right, now we're starting to get into the best cars in the game. Number five, we have the Battle Bus. Honestly, this car should be number one because of Fortnite, duh. It's the best game that was ever made. Uh, and it makes an appearance in Rocket League. <laughs> Anyways, it's super fast. It looks great, super slim, has great handling. Hard to get a better car, but there are four better cars coming up right after this. Have you ever wondered to yourself, is there more to life? Can it get any better than this? What am I doing wrong? Well, you're in luck. If you want the answer to all those questions, make sure to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> yep, thank you. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Number four, the Armadillo. If you don't have an Xbox, you're missing out on a key vehicle just by using this car. I guarantee you will get to GC in under 50 hours of gameplay, seriously. This car is just a beast. It's super fast, easy to handle, and it's a 50-50 god. Number three, we have the Proteus. All the pros I mentioned for the Armadillo, but with more style and flair. I mean, seriously, this car is just a gorgeous car. I would drive this thing in real life like I was driving a Lamborghini. It's just sexy. Drum roll, please. Number two is the Grog. Honestly, there's only one car better than the Grog, and we will get there, but seriously, the Grog is just such a beautiful car. It's super fast, super slim, super accurate, and obviously it's a 50-50 god. Pros don't use this car because it would honestly just be cheating. It is that good. All right, folks, we saved the best for last you all knew it was coming because we all know that the best car in the game is the Scarab. When you see someone using this car, you tremble in fear because you know this car is just OP. It looks cool to drive, it drives like butter, and it gets perfect flicks 100% of the time. 
I think what makes this car the best car in the game is how easy it is to control the ball. And it makes sense. What better way to control a ball than to be the ball? All right, guys, I know you guys are angry, foaming at the mouth. If you guys actually believe that list, I know you guys are tilted. Thank you guys for watching it all the way to the end. This video obviously was a troll video, but if you guys can get me to a thousand likes on this video, I'll, I'll do an actual top 10 video for the cars in Rocket League and actually do research and look it up. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have yourselves a good night.